It's icy in here, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, shout out to Bleacher Report, hooking the boy up. That boy about bald as a Boy look like a left knuckle. What's going on YouTube? It's the Kid Gowie here with another vlog. First and foremost, before we actually get into the vlog, I got a few things that I want to say to you guys. Number one, thank you for helping me reach 50,000 subscribers. We're halfway to that YouTube plaque. And for everybody that knows about the YouTube plaque, that's pretty much like our Oscar. So shout out to everybody that's been supporting me since day one. If you've been a fan since 2012 when I really started uploading videos, or if you just became a fan yesterday, bro, I appreciate you 100% for supporting the movement and we're going to keep it going and hopefully we can actually reach a hundred thousand subscribers sometime soon we can get this plaque and build our family number two i want to give a big shout out to habits 365 which is a clothing brand based out of new york city and it's ran by some young and pretty dope guys eli and spencer salute to those guys if you want to get yourself a habits 365 t-shirt you can find the link to their website in the description box below and as you see from this t-shirt this is a collaboration with body Armor. So it's only right that I also give a shout out to my dogs over at Body Armor for always hooking your boy up. Before they even knew who I was, Body Armor was my favorite sports drink on the market. Over Gatorade, Powerade, whatever else you guys drink, Body Armor was definitely the drink for me. So make sure that you guys go out there and cop yourself some Body Armor so you can stay hydrated. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete or if you just want something flavorful to drink. Either way, these joints is smack. No cap. Now, as you guys all know, this past weekend, I was in Las Vegas, Nevada turning up. I'm talking about from the night that the plane landed all the way till it was time for me to leave. Literally, I only got about four hours of sleep before it was time for me to catch my flight back home. And yes, I know that they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but you guys are my family, so I'm gonna let you in on what I did when I was in Las Vegas. The very moment that I landed in Las Vegas, the first thoughts that ran through my head is, damn, it's hot as shit. Bro, I've never been to a place that hot. It was consistently about 106 to 109 degrees. No lie. Even when the sun went down, it still was about 103, 105. Bro, I lied to you not. After about 20 steps, I started feeling like Patrick when he went to go rescue SpongeBob from Sandy's house. My manager, Jay, and I pulled up to UNLV, you know, to check out some summer league games because we got an invite from a person named Jay Gill. Big shout out to the homie Jay Gill. He's worked with the NBA for years. I mean, this guy started off from the bottom and worked his way up to an important position to where he could put people like myself in position to do things with the league. So basically what happened, Jay Gill walked us into the arena and then he took us to like some VIP section. They had food everywhere and we was just watching the game from there. So it was cool, you know, it was just like being at a regular game, but we got free food, free drinks, everything. That was pretty dope. But then Jay Gill out of left field was just like, hey, you want to get a closer look? Do I want to get a closer look? Hell yeah! So not only did Jay Gill give me a closer look, this man sat me baseline of the Summer League game. I lied to you not, bro. I was sitting so close, it reminded me of the Block Boy JB line when he said, Man, I'm so close to the gun that I can steal the stat sheet. I literally could steal the stat sheet off the table. And of course, there's going to be haters out there that talk about, oh, it's just Summer League, it's not a real game, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, bro. If you're a legit fan of basketball, you're entertained no matter what level you're watching. It could be AAU. It could be women's basketball, high school, college, G League, anything. But let's not forget, this is still the NBA. So there were people in the building like Cam Reddish, who is low-key still my favorite player from this year's draft class, and the legendary Dennis Scott, you know, the former Orlando Magic sharpshooter. So remember, when opportunities like this present themselves, it isn't always about meeting the elites and, oh, are the elites going to be there? Oh, I'm not coming. No, it's all about enjoying the experience. After watching about two games, my time in the summer league was cut fairly short because I had to meet up with the Bleacher Report family for dinner. Bro, this dinner was something else. Like, I was expecting something like chicken fingers, fries, you know, the usual. Bro, I looked at that menu, it was about 10 things with no prices on it. The good thing is, I didn't have to pay for anything. There were desserts with golden flakes sprinkled on top of it. They had filet mignon. I mean, this restaurant was so damn fancy, I almost asked them if they had escargot. And I don't even know what that is. But that's not even the craziest part. They had, like, live performances going 
going on while you eat. So they had guys on top of the counters break dancing like this was a sequel to You Got Served. Then they had singers singing songs while they danced. It was like a whole Broadway show. Like, bro, it was definitely different. I ain't never ever seen anything like this before a day in my life. Now with me being the frugal person that I am, I would hate to see what that bill looked like after we were done. So I'm gonna leave it at the Bleach Report. Big shout out to y'all for hooking us up with that dinner, but I know y'all probably broke the bank with that one. After we left dinner, we went back to the hotel room and Bleacher Report left some swag on the bit. Here you go to game jersey. Okay, what jersey number am I? Okay, we got jersey number three. Let's see what else is in here. Got a House of Highlights hat. Okay, this is tough. What else we got? A Vegas shirt. Summer, summer, summer time. I think these are the shorts. Let's see what these look like. All right, these cool. It's pretty simple. Hey, yo, I got mismatched shorts. Come on, bro. How I got number one shorts in the number three jersey? It is what it is. You know, simple mistake, but we Gucci. And this, this the one right here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, they know I'm about to, I'm, I'm going to wear this to the club. I don't even got a button down shirt to wear, but I'm going to wear that. And I slide. Don't know what these, ooh. Okay. BR jump off. These tough. And last but not least, the Bleach Report duffel. This is when stuff got interesting. Hey, so today is the day we finally had the three-on-three -three tournament at BR Jump Off. You know, we in Las Vegas with it. We got an event at 6. You know, I woke up this morning to get it in early. You know, I, I hit the weights this morning. I had got me a, a, a upper body massage. You know, I'm, I'm dedicated. I'm really about to put in work today. Because they got me, a guy that just jokes around and talks his going against a whole bunch of real life D1 through D3 hoopers today. So if they think I ain't gonna hold my own, <laughs> They got big guy, we messed up. Now the previous night at the dinner, there was a lot of trash talking going on on who was going to win, who was going to get blown out, water rosters, whatever. But look, bro, my squad that consisted of Bionic, AJ, Supreme, and Marcellus, <laughs> we wasn't having none of that. On everything I love, bro, we the new Golden State Warriors. Marcellus was the new Steph Curry, AJ was the new Klay Thompson, Bionic was a freakishly athletic Draymond Green, and me and Supreme, you know, he was like, Kevon Looney and Sean Livingston. You see, these other teams had reliable bucket getters, but what they didn't have was reliable role players. You see, role players matter, bruh. Every single time that I set a screen or fake the screen, our team scored. But also, don't sleep. When you have reliable bucket getters, what teams try to do is strategize against those bucket getters so the people who aren't that good at scoring get the ball. Oh man, but they were sleeping. Now, me personally, I didn't do any scoring. I only took two shots, but that's because I'm the person that loves to do the dirty work. You know, play defense, get rebounds, set screens. That's my role. But that boy Supreme Dreams, <laughs> he was out there knocking down jumpers like he was at Sky's gym with Chris Brickley. So when you have a team like that that has so much chemistry, nobody's being selfish, we're all spreading the ball, we're all making sure we can get open looks, you walk away with one of these. Team chemistry is key, baby. Look, I'm not even a hooper, and your boy came back from Vegas with a championship trophy. In the words of Kevin Garnett, Anything's possible. Anything's possible! And what made this victory so much sweeter wasn't the fact that we walked away with championship trophies. It wasn't even the fact that we walked away undefeated. But the fact that Supreme Dreams and I, the same two guys that the internet tried to put against each other over the LeBron James videos, came together and won together. I salute that man. But things got even more crazier with the dunk contest. My guys Bionic, Clark, and Purdy were going at it. And it was a pretty dope contest, but Michael Purdy shut things down with his final dunk. After the dunk contest was over, A Boogie with a hoodie came out and rocked the crowd. And I want to give a quick shout out to A Boogie because I've actually done some promo for him. And the craziest part is, is that that promo video actually led to a James Harden repost on Instagram. After that, that was the end of BR Jump Off, but then it was time to hit the club and turn up with Gucci Mane. 
This was a lit ass weekend, bro. I lie to you not. Everything about this past weekend was incredible. Everything except for that damn heat. Vegas people, how do you live in that heat? But besides that, I had an amazing time. Shout out to Bleacher Report. Shout out to Jay Gill and the NBA. Shout out to all the influencers that showed me love. People that I already knew and the new people that I met while I was out there. And yeah, bro, this was crazy. So to everybody that's watching, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can get to 100,000 subscribers and get our YouTube plaque. And for those who already are subscribed, you know I love you dearly. Much love to y'all. Make sure you press that like button. Comment comment, share the video, do all that good stuff that you guys are already known for doing. And let's just continue climbing the ladder slowly but shortly. And one last shout out for my guys over at Habits365. They are doing their thing. They're a brand that's really growing fast. So make sure you get on the wave early, bro. Don't wait too late. This is a real dope brand, bro. Like they have t-shirts, hats, hoodies, windbreakers, like anything you could possibly think of. If they don't have it, I'm pretty sure they'll have it within the next year. So check them out. Link is in the description box. And until next time, always remember, it's only entertainment. <laughs> it's only entertainment.